Hey YouTube, what's up? Kaibu Kibu with another great YouTube video. Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys a new simple beginner method that I discovered. Ready? Here we go. The Rubik's Cube. It has frustrated people for years and years and years. And, well, I'm here to put an end to that. I discovered a method that the most simple-minded person can figure out only using a few algorithms. And there are some things you need to know that are just basic notation stuff. You can watch some other videos for that, but I'll also go on in this video too. So, now without further ado, I'm going to explain a little bit about the method. So, in, this, in the beginner method, you solve layer by layer, and then you basically solve the orient, just orient at the top layer. So, in this method, we're going to solve one piece at a time. And so, it's a little more ingenuity, but I think this might be easier for beginners to learn. First, I would recommend still learning more advanced methods like CFOP or Friedrich. I guess they're the same technically, but you get my idea. So, I'm going to start going over some notation and stuff right about now. And so now I'm gonna go, oops, I, I'm gonna go over a little bit of notation. So the way the notation work is it's directional. So whatever side is facing you is the front face. Whatever side is on top is the up face. Left, left face, right, right face, down, down face, B and back faces. So it really depends on what way is facing you. So if I have this green face facing towards me and the yellow on top, then it's such as. So front and up. And, but if I were to change the rotation randomly, orange is facing me and white's on top, then white becomes the up face and orange becomes the front face. And so that's what the individual letter means. R for right, L for left, F for front, B for back, D for down, U for up. So, but if I say, like, do a two move, a letter and then two, that means do that twice. So if I say, for example, R2, that means do the right side twice. So like this. If I say do a prime move, like R prime, that would be right counterclockwise, basing that side off the clock. So like an L would be this, but an L prime would be this. And vice versa for R. R prime, R. U, U prime, D, D prime, F, F prime, B, B prime. And so that's just basically all you have to remember. So now let me start showing you how this method works. So before we begin, I would like to say one thing. I would say stop this video if you do not have a Rubik's Cube in your hand and you want to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. It, you will be very hard to solve a Rubik's Cube if you don't have one with you while you're going through this tutorial. So I would go on Amazon or some other cubing shop like Speed Cubes or the Cubicle.us. Go buy one or you can go out to Target and buy one. They're not very expensive and yeah, I would just go do that. So now let me show you how this method works. So the first step in this method is to get across on one side, just like in the beginner method. And I'll be going over how you get that in a second. After you get the cross on one side, along with all the these in the right spot, so they match up their corresponding colors, then you want to do the same for the rest of the puzzle and get all of the crosses solved on each side. So when you look around, you see a little cross on each and every side of the puzzle. So like white's cross, corn these are crosses, this is a cross, and these are crosses. Now, don't worry about the corners, because that's where the bulk of this method comes in. And now, I'm going to show you how to, well, you know, get the corners and stuff. So, let's go ahead and do that right now. So, here I just have a really just randomly hand scrambled cube. I'll actually do a few more turns, just randomly, to make sure I'm not just, like, starting from a random a certain position and showing you guys. Okay. So, the first thing we want to do is get what's known as the white cross on this white here face. And when we're doing that, so this piece is already on top, but it's misaligned. So let's go ahead and align that piece so it's with the red. I see this blue piece, but if we were to slide it up, it's misaligned. So let's go ahead and put it back. And what we want to do is find the blue face. It's here. So if I were to rotate red out of the way, I can put it up. And when I push it back, 
these two pieces are still aligned. So I see this piece on the yellow face and it's orange. It's already with the orange piece. So let's go ahead and do a move, a twice move to put it with the white. And then this piece right here, we can just turn it so it's on this green and green face, green and white face. So that was a really easy cross. So I'm gonna show you one thing that you may have a little trouble figuring out on your own. So this is the one thing on the white cross that you may have a little trouble figuring out, where if a piece is already in the right position, but it needs to be turned. Now you could t take that piece out and turn it, but then the cube would be unsolvable, so we can't do that. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this piece, put it out of the way so you can rotate the upper layer freely without affecting this piece. Then you want to move this upper layer so it's misaligned, put this piece on the upper layer, and then realign all the pieces, and your cross will be solved. So now that we have the white layer, the white, the white cross solved, we can go on to solving this middle slice here. So what you want to do is you want to solve this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. So the first algorithm is if you want to take a piece and put it right. So you want to do up prime, front prime, up front. And that'll put this corner in. But don't worry about these pieces here, or this etching. Don't worry about these corners here yet. We'll come back to that later. That's the bulk of this method. So let's find another piece. Here's another piece. This is red and green. So let's go ahead and find the red and green face. So we're doing the same algorithm. We're putting this piece and putting it right. So let's do up prime front prime, up, front. That's that piece and this piece. So let's go find the next piece. Here's the next piece. So let's find the orange and green face. So this is a different algorithm. So we're gonna wanna put this piece left. So to, uh, to do that, that's up, front, up prime, front prime. It's the same algorithm, it's just reversed. So it's not really complicated. So now, here's the next piece. This piece is in the right plot, but it has to be flipped. So you can start with either one of those methods, the, one of those algorithms, to take it out. So let's do up prime, front prime, up, front, and that'll take that corner out. So now it's up here. So let's go ahead and put this over the above, and let's do the opposite algorithm. Up, front, up prime, front prime. Now we have this entire middle section solved. So now let's look at the top. So the next thing you want to do is get the yellow cross. And so to do that, there are three cases you'll need to learn. The first one is where you just have a single dot. Second one is where you have a bar. Third one is where you have a bracket. So for the dot, you want to do front, right, up, right prime, up prime, front prime, and then you'll get the bracket. So what you want to do if you have a bracket, you want to put it up in the top so it's like this. So it's kind of like a backwards L. And then you want to do front, right, up, right prime, up prime, front prime. And then you'll have a bar. Now if you have a bar, what you want to do is the same thing. Front, right, up, right prime, up prime, front prime. And then you'll have the yellow cross. So now that you have the yellow cross, what you want to do is you want to finish off these center, these side crosses. So let's rotate around until we find three corners that are misaligned. So we will have this corner solved, or this edge solved. This is not aligned, this is not aligned, and this is not aligned. So this is what we want. So let's go ahead and line green, or the corner that can be solved. So like this. And then you want to do the algorithm F2, U, R prime, L prime, F2, right, left prime, up. F2. So now that was a really easy case, but now let me show you a case where you can't have three corners or three edges aligned or misaligned like I just had it. So here we have a case where we ha we can have two corners aligned, but two opposite corners are also aligned. So let's keep rotating it and see if we can't find it. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it and we're back to where we were. So if you have this, you want to do right, up, right prime, up, right, U2, R prime, 
and then see if you can get some corners aligned, misaligned. So these two are aligned, so this is not it. Let's rotate it. This corner is aligned, and then these corners are aligned. So now let's do our algorithm. F2, U, right prime, L, F2, right, left prime, up, F2. So that didn't work, so let's try it again. F2, U, right prime, left, F2, right, left prime, U, F2. That one did it. So now we have the three cornered shuffle. So now we can begin with the most complex part of this method. So now I went ahead and solved my cube so I can show you what this next thing does. Because this is where it gets tricky. So what I'm doing is what's known as a modified Y perm. And so this Y perm switches, a Y perm would switch these two edges, these two corners and these two edges. But since we already have all the edges solved, it won't matter because if you do an equal amount of these, they'll automatically resolve themselves. So what the modified perm does, it switches these two and these two. So what really happens is it takes this sticker and puts it here. And so I'll show you what it looks like. And so now these two sweet pieces are switched. But more importantly, this piece is here and this piece is here. So let's go ahead and undo that. And by undo, I just mean I redid the algorithm. As you see, since I did it two times, these two pieces are switched. And so now I'll show you how we use that during the solve when all the crosses are solved on all the faces. So now I have a cube scrambled again. Well, kind of scrambled. I have the crosses solved. I went ahead and solved the crosses. So now what we want to do is see where this piece has to go. So this is the red, green, and yellow piece. So we want to find where this piece go. It goes here. So this is the red, green, and yellow slot. So what you want to do is since this algorithm switches these two pieces, we want to take this corner and find where it goes. So this sticker right here goes right here in this white face, this white sticker. So we want to put this white sticker facing down right here. So let's track this piece and switch it. And don't worry about keeping your cross because your crosses will break when you do this. So now that you put it down here, we can go ahead and do the algorithm. And this algorithm is right, up prime, right prime, up prime, right, up, right prime, front prime, right, up, right prime, up prime, right prime, front, right prime. Or right, sorry, my bad. The right last R is an R, not a right prime. So now we can just go ahead and undo what we did in the beginning and that fixes these the crosses and now this piece is solved. So now this piece is the new piece we have to solve for. So where's the white, orange, and green sticker? So we want to put this red piece into our slot. So that's a really easy one. We can just do this and then we can go ahead and do the algorithm again. Right, up prime, right prime, up prime, right, up, right prime, front prime, right, up, right prime, up prime, right prime, front, right, and then we just undo the setup move that we did to get here. So now uh, we can just continue doing this for the rest of the corners. So this red, yellow, and blue piece is this piece. So this red goes here, so we won't put this white sticker facing down here. There it is, so it's just like that. And then we do right, up prime, right prime, up prime, right, up, right prime, front prime, right, up, right prime, up prime, right, front, right prime. And then we just undo the setup move and then that piece is solved. Where does this piece go next? White, red, and blue. That's actually this piece right here, so we don't have to do any setup moves. We can just go straight into the algorithm. Right, up prime, right prime, up prime, right, up, right prime, front prime, right, up, right prime, up prime, right prime, front prime, right. Prime, right. And that switches these two pieces. So now we can just continue doing this, but this piece is already solved. So what do we do? Well, we just move the piece, so now this piece is solved. But wait, this piece is in the right position, it slipped. How do we do that? So you can't just have a single piece flipped. Like, so you just can't. So you want to put this piece into the slot that transfers to, and then do the algorithm. Right, up prime, right prime, up prime, right, up, right prime, front prime, right, up, right prime, up prime, right prime, front prime, right. And then you can just adjust 
And now we know how to fix this. So where's the blue sticker? This is the blue sticker. So let's go ahead and put that in the bottom spot and then do right, up, right prime, up prime, right, up, right prime, front prime, right, up, right prime, up prime, right prime, front. And well, we don't have to do the right because come over so that it moves. So now we can just put this slide back and then there. Eventually, if you continue doing from the slot to this, eventually you'll solve a corner one at a time. Now, this is not the most efficient al method, but it does take the fewest algorithms to learn. And I think it would be good for a beginner to learn how to start with this, and then gradually uh, evolve into Frigic, and then eventually into CFOP. Well, I guess they're the same. I keep mixing them up, but you generally get my point. So, that's really all you have to do. I mean, eventually, if you do this long enough, you will be able to figure it out. It takes a little more ingenuity than CFOP, but I think that ingenuity will help you. So remember, whatever sticker is here, when you do the modified white perm, will end up here, and then vice versa. So it's really not that hard. If you can get to where all the crosses are solved, I think this method will be good for beginners. So it's the question of can you get there? If you can get to where the crosses are solved on all sides, then you should be good. Hey guys, so I really hope this video helped you solve the Rubik's Cube using as few algorithms as possible. I designed this method, or I didn't design it, but I found this method and I worked on it so I could teach it to you guys using the fewest algorithms possible. So I really hope this helped, and if it didn't, let me know down in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe so you can be notified of future content. Um, like, because it really helps me out. Comment if you have any suggestions, anything I can change. I'm always open to suggestions. And suggest what type of videos you guys would like to see next. It really helped, will really help me out and make this video process making easier. I would also like to apologize for not making videos of the past few weeks. You know, school and Christmas time really has me thrown for a loop. I hope this video helped you guys, and thanks for watching.